Ah. So this is the worst part about riding in the wet. Good morning, everyone. This is Ivan, and welcome back to the Ivan Rides YouTube channel. If it's your first time joining us, it's good to have you on board. If you're a returning subscriber, it is good to have you back. Let's get that light on. Today, we are going to be doing a commute to work video on, as you can see, the Nami Burn E. So if you've ever been curious as to how the Nami handles cold weather commuting, and I believe later tonight, uh, I finally figured out the settings for night footage. So we're gonna have some uh, really, really wet conditions. So if you're curious to see how the NAMI handles wet conditions and the New York City commute in general, stay tuned, sit back, and enjoy the ride. But today it seems like we are in a race against the rain. If you can see, the sky is quite dark. So the rain is supposed to start in about 30 minutes in the city. So the goal is to get to Midtown Manhattan before then. So that's why we don't have any uh, electronics out, just in case we get caught in the rain. And then later tonight, the rain ends at 5.30 p.m. So that means for the commute home, the wet road will be the only thing that we'll have to deal with. And we won't really have to deal with that much actual rain, but actually wet road and tons of wind. That was a 54. <laughs> I gotta do a top speed run one of these days. Oh, I think I'm starting to hear uh, raindrops hitting my, my helmet. Definitely starting to feel them raindrops. And there's very few of us on the bridge that are willing to take on this type of weather, but better than taking the train. against time oh my lord I can feel the raindrops coming luckily we're not stuck in traffic like these guys on the left
right now this is the most aggressive we've ridden in a while That is New York City morning rush hour. Yep. Fucking box trucks are a fucking hot mess. wants to give you room so we cut through yep it's definitely starting to come down now it's supposed to come down pretty hard too so we'll see how this goes man so the nami is a uh, rated ip55 which is great because we get a chance to ride it in the wet like this so we can still ride comfortably to work Ooh, took my hand off there got wobbly without having to worry about the NAMI exploding. I really loved uh, my Mantis that, that I had for a couple of months, but my biggest complaint as always is the, uh, that generation of Mantis was not IP rated, which is in New York City, really important because it could be absolutely wonderful weather and then it'll turn on you like this. So, not that today was good weather, but. This is a little bit sooner than expected. I'm assuming that my lens is quite wet now and you guys can't see anything. So we're gonna cut forward into the night portion of this commute and I'll see you then. We are just finishing up work. I needed to go around because apparently Fifth Avenue is closed to all traffic. So we had to somehow navigate this. And as you can see, it has been raining all day. So the roads are soaking wet. We're gonna have to navigate insane traffic along with uh, the wet roads. So, great way to see how the NAMI is gonna hold up in this type of wet environment. Let's see if we can get around homey here. You wanna, you wanna move there, homie? So yeah, here we are. After a long day of work, trying to navigate the mess that is Madison Avenue. 
So we're gonna try and get around here. But you know what? Luckily in New York, there's always a different way around. Ugh. Why is everyone always like on top of each other like this? Like, completely unnecessary. Like they give you a whole street to drive on and you choose to be on top of the bike lane. So as you can see, there's probably going to be no high speed riding today. It's just not going to happen. I'm just hoping that there are ways around this nonsense. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, we don't normally go this way because it's uh, it's very congested, but it looks like this will be the smarter option for today. So, how are you guys? Work was pretty crazy, so I'm just hoping that we'll get some, a little bit of a break on this commute. Actually, I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting home, spending some time with the wifey. I bought a new uh, uh, Glenfiddich. Is that what it's called? The Glenfiddich. Uh, yesterday, 12 year. And I'm really looking forward to pouring myself a glass. So I just want to get home as safely as possible. You know, uh, two of my friends in the uh, PEV world took a spill, and I'm glad they're both doing okay, but they both were riding during wet conditions like this, and both of them had their rides slide out from under them, and it was quite unexpected too. So, I don't want to be dealing with another injury. So far, we've traveled quite a bit, and the NAMI is still okay, so we should be okay. And nothing has exploded yet, so we're good. We are good. And the marine grease that Ed put into the neck of the scooter has really helped. Uh, thank you, Ed, for recommending that. Now, I do hate making this blind turn, but we're gonna have to make it. Hopefully no one's coming up here. Okay, we're good. It seems like everything is pretty empty, so we might be able to aggressively navigate the bridge without being a danger to ourselves and those around us. Let me know what you think about this... Uh, this night footage. It's only gonna get better once uh, once we get the new setup going, but I think this is this is a great compromise between having something and not. And I'm not sure if you guys can see, but uh, on, on this bike lane, it's so uneven that these big puddles like this that we're flying through are extremely dangerous during the winter because all this stuff that you're seeing that's extremely wet, that's deep, 
turns into ice. And there are times where during the day it's fine because it's above freezing, but then when night hits and you can't see anything and all of it is just shiny, that's a... Uh, that's that instant death for you, man. So... Thank goodness for uh, the NAMI's IP rating because I'm just glad to be flying home right now. My wife was just telling me that uh, these subways are a hot mess right now and they're barely working so there's a lot of floods, a lot of delays and you guys saw that mess that was uh, Madison Avenue. The They're lighting the Christmas tree today, the, the big Rockefeller tree. It's great for the tourists but for the locals, the moment that tree goes up we know it's a nightmare because Getting around on the subway, getting around on the roads, it's going to be pretty insane because you have a lot of people that aren't used to navigating New York City, just kind of wandering around and you just got to dodge them. And you got to be mindful as well, but just because you're doing the right thing doesn't mean that other people know what they're doing, so not looking forward to that, but give it a little bit more speed here. Yeah. Yep, see, leaves, wet. Nope, 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 nope. I do not do leaves in wet. Look at these fools. Yeah, so it's as simple as that. The only thing that really sucks about riding in the rain is uh, having to wipe down the scooter before I go back into the house. Now you don't want to bring any of this uh, nasty water in, so it takes an extra 10 minutes to wipe it down. Signal, man. Jesus. Yeah. This is really nice right now. And just like that, uh, we are almost home, everyone. Once again, thank you for accompanying me to work. And if you made it this far, I appreciate you as always. And I look forward to riding with you guys one day. Now, like I said earlier today, If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps me with the algorithm. Leave a comment down below if you liked the dark night footage that we captured today. And if you really like what I'm doing, a great way for you to support the channel is to subscribe and share it with your friends that may find this interesting. Other than that, Everyone, good night. It was a pleasure having you. And I'll see you 
on the next ride. Peace.